What's good, y'all? Um, the one and only Digi Gamers back with another video. So this is gonna be a little different. When I thought about making this video, um, I didn't know everything, so that's why I wanted to make the video. So if you had questions, you can kind of look and see. But now I don't know how I really feel about it because I actually went through the whole process. So I'm just gonna explain to you what they have what this new system is and then i'm gonna talk about my personal thoughts and feelings of it so let's jump into it so um an attempt to like make your starter digimon usable and worth the weight grind or anything um what they have done is well what i'm gonna talk about first is you can now clone your digi um digimon 100 so you can get to perfect clone i want to say perfect but like 15 or whatever the max is so like all the way to s tier clone for 100% uh, so I can kind of show a video of me actually doing that I'm gonna do that right now um, so basically all the clones can be 100% I personally I wouldn't really go for 100 uh, perfect cloning this <laughs> uh, just I don't feel like it and two it's a lot of money to clone um, yes um, we, we got to talk about these I, I, and I'm not this is my personal opinion I just think uh, unless the chances have been increased especially when you get to like a and s when it's very small chance of getting 100 percent like completed it's clone i really think these prices may need to go down a little bit um just because and like i said i don't know what the chances are because i have not done it yet and i don't have the funds to, <laughs> to try it out so when i do i'll do a test but either way i don't even have any s and a clones i got a few uh the red ones i guess they're a um from like the maze but i don't have any s um so it's, it's hard to tell like i don't have that much so i can't really like really test to see what the what the increased odds are from doing this but with that being said it is very costly so that's the thing but I'm, i appreciate the effort for making uh the 100 for the starter digimon because i feel like this makes uh easier for new players and two it just makes the starter digimon more useful um, which is cool so that's pretty cool thank you for doing that but we may need to look into <laughs> it costs a lot to clone and another thing yo what is wrong with these prices for these digi cores i'll try to buy some uh cloning items i forgot what they're called a clone what they call i don't even know what they're called i'm not looking at the footage right now i'm just talking i'm just recording the audio so um whatever the price Pretty much you can buy like these things from the digi core market but for some reason these things are freaking expensive like look at this price s clones are 30 digi cores mind you i've i've literally picked up every single egg that i've farmed and like to, to scan to get digi clones and i only have this amount i was only able to get one of these so that's a little uh to me and then for the reinforced clones as you can see their reinforced clones are even more um i think the s clone is a thousand for the reinforced clone again like i was saying so if it costs a bunch of money to clone and the ch i don't know what the odds are and the chances are i don't think that they should cost that much you know what i mean it's like we got to be able to have somewhere some wiggle room somewhere you know and this is not to me to say oh this is a terrible server it's just something that i think that you know it don't look right I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all, man. I don't, I don't think, I don't think it should be that high. I, I don't think so, unless the chances are increased. Um, Cause I've cloned on the, on the other, like um, we're not gonna talk, we're gonna, we're gonna refer to the, the original official, quote unquote official as the, what are we gonna call it? Scam King, there we go. Scam King is, you know, it's, it's a little, a little, look a little, look a little rough. That's what I'm saying. Um, also too, um, they have added a way for, you can do a quest, I forgot the name of the quest, but it is for your starter Digimon, you can um, pretty much increase the size, which is pretty cool, but here's the issue, you can only do it once a day and it's only 3%, yeah 3%, <laughs> and two, we don't know when Leomon appears, so um, I was, I, had, I spent like 15 minutes trying to find this guy, because I thought he was just going to be like the Leomon that we see um, in, in the Oil Refinery 3. Um, so basically what you got to do is get the quest from Digimon, go to Oil Refinery 3, head over to this area, and you're going to see a Leomon appear, um, Saber Leomon, but he, we don't know when he's appearing. Um, and this is one of the uh, suggestions we had as the promoters, we talked about making a way for like a timer, a set timer, so when these 
raids do happen, we know when to look for because I was completely lost. I was like, bro, is this, this right? Is this wrong? Like, I, I don't know. So if we could get a timer, at least, so we know when the thing is dropping, that would be helpful. Other than that, I don't, 3% is, is maybe 5, maybe 5%, you know what I'm saying? So at least takes you 10 days, you get plus 50. Um, cause pl 10 days, you only plus 30 and that's, that's 10 days you're going back and you don't know what time the Leomon, you don't know when the Leomon is coming back. You know what I'm saying? So, and I don't know, I don't know if this can go to transcendent. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So if anyone knows, let me know in the comments, but, but yeah, um, 3%, it's a little, um, so at least maybe think about adding a timer, set timer for the raids. So we know when to, I didn't even know he was a raid boss. Until he just appeared out of nowhere, as you can see here, he just appeared. I, I was so shocked, and I almost thought I was gonna miss it. So thankfully, I didn't. So hopefully, we can get those things changed. Um, see, and like, and look, I I do enjoy the server. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying just maybe it's some things we could work on, you know, because there's a reason why we don't play Scam King. We just make it make it a little easier you know we will support you we will continue to support you and i'm gonna say positive things about it but i don't know these are suggestions some things i'm feeling let me know what you guys think i'm always gonna keep it real with y'all so let me know what y'all think join the discord i'm gonna be back on this weekend to play so make sure y'all join the discord because we about to have some fun let's get it